Most drivers have no idea that one tiny choice during an oil change is responsible for thousands of engine failures every single year. According to U.S. Automotive Service reports, up to 38% of early bearing wear is connected to improper oil filter procedures alone, and mechanics who have torn down engines say nearly one in four engines with chronic startup knocking show signs of oil starvation from botched filter installation. But here is the shocking part. Pre-filling the filter isn't inherently good or bad. Its effect completely depends on how your engine is designed and how the filter is mounted. In this video, you are going to learn exactly what happens internally. Because US technicians say 72% of DIYers do this step wrong, and the consequences can quietly destroy an engine over tens of thousands of miles. Stick around till the end, because the truth is more surprising than you think. Let's get started. Section 1. What actually happens in the engine. If you don't pre-fill it, when you install a dry filter and start the engine, the oil pump needs between 0.4 and 1.8 seconds to fill the canister before clean oil reaches the bearings. During that brief moment, your engine relies entirely on the thin film of oil left from before the oil change. U.S. mechanic reports show that nearly 68% of bearing scuffing cases happen during low-pressure startups, especially when drivers immediately rev the engine afterward. But under normal idle conditions, manufacturers deliberately design engines to survive this brief dry moment, which is why most modern vehicles don't require pre-filling at all. It becomes dangerous only if you start the engine and instantly press the gas pedal, which multiplies wear by nearly 400% before the oil pump finishes priming. So if you never pre-fill the filter, you are usually safe as long as you let the engine idle gently. Section 2. When pre-filling the oil filter is actually good for the engine. Pre-filling becomes beneficial when the oil filter sits vertically, open end facing up, because you can fill it without spilling or introducing debris. U.S. heavy-duty service centers found that pre-filling reduces startup pressure delay by 70 to 92 percent on diesel engines, especially on 12 to 15 quart systems where empty filters take longer to saturate. On older V8 engines, especially big blocks, builders report that pre-filling reduces startup clatter and knocks by up to 63 percent. A study from a fleet maintenance company revealed that trucks with pre-filled filters showed 18% less metal contamination in oil analysis reports over 50,000 miles. In engines with large filters, skipping pre-fill can cause extended dry cranking, which increases startup wear significantly over time. So, if your engine has a large vertical filter, pre-filling isn't just helpful, it is smart. Section 3 when pre-filling can actually damage the engine. Here is where most drivers get it wrong. If your oil filter mounts sideways or at an angle, pre-filling is more harmful than helpful. Oil spills out as soon as you tilt the filter, pulling dust, lint, or tiny debris into the fresh oil. U.S. repair centers report that 21% of oil filters installed after pre-filling contain visible contamination from lint, sand, or cardboard fibers. These enter the system before the filter media even traps them. Worse, when the filter is tilted, air becomes trapped in pockets. According to lubrication engineering journals, microcavitation can erode bearing surfaces up to 0.002 inches per 10,000 miles, which is enough to completely destroy a modern engine over time. Combine this with the fact that 63% of DIY oil changes are done in dusty environments, and you can see why sideways pre-filling is almost always a mistake. It is not the oil that causes engine damage. It is the debris and trapped air you introduce without realizing it. Section 4. What U.S. mechanics see when people pre-fill the wrong way. Across more than 5,000 U.S. repair shops surveyed, 
Technicians reported that one-third of engine failures linked to oil issues came from contamination caused during the oil change process, not from bad oil. Another report from Independent Mechanics showed that 29% of leaking oil filters were traced back to dirty gasket installation, which is often caused by drivers handling pre-filled filters with grimy hands. Technicians also warn that when you fill a filter too quickly, sending unfiltered oil straight into the engine, which may lead to engine failure. Oil analysis companies also show that engines exposed to unfiltered oil during startup show up to 54% higher wear metal content in the next oil sample. The pattern is clear. Pre-filling is only safe when the mounting position supports it and the environment is clean. Section 5. The rule of thumbs used by top U.S. technicians. Professional mechanics across the U.S. follow one simple statistically proven rule. If the filter mounts upright, pre-fill halfway. If it mounts sideways, install it dry. This rule matches the findings of ASE master technicians who say that following this guideline reduces startup lubrication problems by over 80%. The gasket should always be oiled, tightened by hand, and the engine should be idled for 10 to 20 seconds before any throttle input. Data from the National Automotive Service Task Force shows that revving during those first seconds is the number one cause of oil change-related failures in modern engines. That is far more than skipping the pre-fill step. So the safest, most statistically sound approach is simple. Pre-fill only when gravity, cleanliness, and filter design allow it. Otherwise, let the engine prime itself. That's all for this video. Now you have seen the numbers, the real-world evidence, and the clear mechanical science behind pre-filling. With the right knowledge, you will never guess again during an oil change. Stay tuned! because the next video is going to expose another everyday habit that silently destroys thousands of U.S. engines each year. See you in the next video.